Hello everyone. Hello. Today we will be discussing about the classification of angiosperm. Classification of angiosperm. There are their own units and also their types. These are most important for prior study of the angiosperms. how to classify the plants and in what way this classification has to be done in the angiospermic plants there are five millions of different kinds of the organism what i say here organism not plants and survive on the our mother planet earth out of which 4,80,000 of the plants plants including algae to the angiosperms and out of which more than 3 lakh species of the flowering plant angiosperms are distributed all over the world this shows great diversity great diversity diversity means kya bola no variations in their habit habitat structure life form flower leaves fruits all these things so this great diversity from the habit to life and it is impossible study all of them individually so it need to well defined particularly well defined and classify each of the taxa of the plants and even also animals are even also insect virus etc that is why such a classification has been introduced in the biological science through taxonomy this is the most important and in the living world particularly plant and animal kingdoms are most important therefore it becomes necessary to place each and every taxa each and every species in their fixed position in their fixed position to that of the according to the uh, groups either small group or large group on what basis a uh, similarities and differences what are the similar characters and the different characters as plants have been concerned find out similar characters of the individuals and how they differ from the others so placed in their existing categories in their a particular position and each of the position of the category has been named in accordance with the rules of the nomenclature this is most important so ultimately on the basis of similarity in the individuals they have been grouped into the a small group that small group is called as a species i already discussed in previous lecture and similar species grouped as a genus and similar genus grouped in family similar families in order order to series series to sub class sub class to class class to division a uh, sub division sub division to division and the lastly as a kingdom so in this way all they have been constructed a system of the classification as per they are the units of the classification in earlier days when the plant has to be immerse um birth on the planet and their study has been started by various rushis and munis and etc etc and they have been also trying to classify such plants on the characters and that characters may be on the basis of judgment of the plants either such plants or the plant twigs or the leaves or etc have been useful to the human mankind or not that means useful and not useful is plus classification on the earth then later the study has been started to systematically and our forefather theophrastus or father of botany theophrastus has been considered that a appearance of the plant one character that is the habit 
a small plant called as a herb, medium plant called as a shrub, and gigantic form of the plant is called as a tree. So depending upon on these cases, he firstly classify the plants into three classes. Later, the use of number of observations in natural habitat by observing the characters in the nature. So, replace such a classification a natural affinities with external morphological characters or similarities which are present in the species called as the natural classification system and done by Bentham and Hooker's classification system first time. This is the best one. How later we discuss detail. Further research has to be going on and add a characters from experimental and evolution of the different types of the views and on that basis of the views we have to understand exact the phylogeny of the plants and on the basis of the phylogeny and phylogenetic characters construct the classification system called as the phylogenetic classification in the modern taxonomy for example Taktajan's classification system concrete's Thorne's classification system so these are the some of the classifications classification system is arrangement or group of the things in a lawful manner this is most important and the kingdom planty was divided into two sub kingdoms named as panorogram and cryptogram on the basis of presence or absence of flower of a plant in or presence or absence of seed in the fruit so seed bearing flowering plants are placed in panorogam here panorama means visible gamma means marriage <laughs> another um, meanings here so visible marriage that means using directly a um, sexual um, organs that is the carpels and the stamens while all non flowering plants are grouped into cryptogamy krypton means here concealed or masked gamus means marriage marriage that means six organs are masked and including algae fungi lichen bryophyte pteridophyte phanerogamy is further divided into two groups on the basis of nature of ovules where the ovules are present ovules are present in ovary and within that ovary these ovules produce the seeds either these ovules are naked one or either the ovules are enclosed one they are grouped into two gymnosperms have naked ovules and angiosperms with enclosed or protected ovules so they are deeper from each other so number of systems has been proposed on the basis of the uh, different characters by various uh, time to time by various taxonomists and uh, it is not possible to cover all the classification systems. What are the units of the classification? Units of the classifications that means started from kingdom, sub kingdom, division, subdivision. You have to know already up to the species, forma, and the varieties. What is this species? Species is a, a basic unit in the taxonomy used for plant classification and it is a group of closely related organism and that are much similar to each other and are usually capable to interbreeding and producing offspring is called as a species so similar characters of the individuals are called as species morphological characters are similar to each other and one to two characters are also varies or variations either in chromosome number, either in other size, color of the flowers and other parts trait and it becomes as a variety of the species or form of the species. What about the another one is um, important in it genus. Genus is similar collection of the species. That means similar characters in the group of species and shows a very close likeness, likeness and similarities in vegetative and floral characters such a similar species 
group is called as a genus. Say for example, family Morisi, Poranamaitekna Morisi, Morisi, the plants like word pimple, etc. etc. And word pimple means kai? This is the genus of the ficus, and ficus have similar characters like a presence of white latex. Pan to me the toddler, the Tejatun Pandra chick, by the token. The hedge is a plant, but the other titty plants are more is a family. Size and surface of the leaf. Surface of leaf, jo a heto chakchakit, this narasto, allegalaksha. तो ही मोरीसी मध्ये दिसतो हायपेन थोडे मी इनफ्लोरेसेंस इनफ्लोरेसेंस शिकवत असताना मी सांगितलं होतं टेंब्र जी येतात ते त्याला हायपेन थोडे मी इनफ्लोरेसेंस म्हणायचं आणि लाल भडक टेंब्र झालेले असतात परिपक्व त्याला सायकोनस फ्रूट म्हणतात दिस आर द कॅरेक्टर्स ऑफ द जीनस फिकस इन मेनी प्लांट्स अँड इन्क्लूडेड द स्पीसीज फिकस रिलीजियस हा म्हणजे पिंपळ फिकस कायरिका म्हणजे अंजीर एरिसिमस म्हणजे उंबर फिकस बेंगालेसिस म्हणजे वर्ड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दिस इज अबाउट दैट ए पर्टिकुलर फिकस जीनस एंड नम व्हाट अबाउट द फॅमिली फॅमिली मींस नंबर ऑफ सिमिलर जनरा ग्रुप टुगेदर अंडर ए सिंगल ग्रुप कॉल्ड एज अ फॅमिली ऑल सच अ जनरा प्लुरली इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ जीनस शोज अ जनरल कॅरेक्टर साइन सेम रिझेम्बलन्स or similarity with each other, especially in the floral character. Say for example here family Asterisci. Asterisci family upon give Most of the genera have capitulum or a head type inflorescence. Inflorescence madhe me shukulela hai sure pula madhe capitulum or a head type of the inflorescence with ray and disc florets. If you find a flower with inferior ohori and sipsela type of the fruit. This is most important. And all these are characteristics of the family Asterisci. And genera are included Helianthus, Anya, Suryapol, Triadex, Purkumens, Dagadpol, Chrysanthemi, Shebanthi, Aster, Tagitus, Patula, Jendo. How do you sing that? Number of things, number of characters. You have to say that in the post, you have to say that the genus and characters are common. So types of the classification is another part. We later will discuss in detail in the next video. Thank you.